Hey everybody. Oh yeah. Who is this beast? The baby's getting big. She's only a year old and she's got another year of growing and filling out to do, right? Right, babe? That's a good looking babe. Um, so I just want to show you guys the tank. Little update. <clears throat> Everything's looking good. I just turned the lights on a little while ago, so um, by the way, um, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for subscribing. Give the video a like. New videos every Saturday and a live stream most Friday nights. Check out all the links in the video description for everything I use on my channel uh, regarding fish tank gear. And uh, you can see I had a terrible bout of green hair algae. It's still gone. We got some sand on the rock. Still no sand on the bottom. The uh, star polyps are closed because I just turned the lights on. Uh, this zoanthid colony was just like a very tiny frag. Look, it's on the whole rock. It's just grown a lot. I was at the reef store today and um, I saw like one of these zoanthid frags, which is where I got it from. Uh, it was like, I don't know, $49 and smaller was like maybe $29, $38, something like $35, I don't know, about $35. Bucks. So this beast, probably $100, $150 bucks I could get for it, I'm sure, easily. Um, Frog spawn colony doing all right, but no, uh, no green hair algae, and uh, fish are doing great. I saw a lemon peel that I wanted to get. You know those yellow fish? Oh, love those guys. Totally wanted to get them today, but it's not in the budget. And yeah, I know I've got enough fish in here. And when I back up, it's a 125 gallon tank, six foot. You know, so here's the thing, you know, people have said, why don't you get a bigger tank? I don't have the money for a bigger tank, okay? And the thing with a bigger tank is, yes, you're gaining water volume, you're gonna probably gain some height. So the fish are gonna swim up and down. But most fish don't swim up and down. They like to swim left to right. And this is a six foot long tank. So, you know, if I get like a 256 or whatever, um, it's still going to be six feet. So they're still going to swim back and forth. They're only going to be gaining depth, like another foot out and maybe another, I don't know, six inches to a foot high. And I don't like tall tanks because this is perfect. You stick your, your armpit is like right here and then it's just enough to reach the bottom. So a long tank is a better tank. I've seen some really nice tanks. They're like four feet long, but then they're like much taller. That looks cool, but I would never have that because it's a pain to clean and I'm not the only one saying it. Uh, plus again, I gotta have the fish swimming left to right. So the corals are waking up. There's no green hair algae. And I attribute it to this. I've tried a lot of different things. I'm gonna have a link to this. Hydrogen peroxide is 35% food grade. It's all natural. And it says, causes skin and eye burns. Eye contact may cause permanent damage. Now, if you get like some on your fingers, your fingers within like 10 seconds, they're gonna burn a little bit. And there's gonna be like a white powder on your fingers that's hard to wash off. And it, it, it does, give a little burn so you only want to put in one milliliter per 10 gallons of water all right so you don't want to hurt your corals I did dose three times that amount like a dummy because I just wanted severe revenge on the green hair algae I'm going to have a link to this in the video description and the top comment. This stuff is outstanding. It's all natural. You can use the 3% hydrogen peroxide that's 
at your local drugstore um, and people dose that, no problem. I got the 35%, you can also get the 15%. 35% is what I've been reading about, it works great. It is very potent. And if you dose one milliliter, I bought a syringe from Amazon, one milliliter per 10 gallons. So this is a 125 gallon tank. So, you know, I dosed like 10 milliliters. I could have gone 12, I just did 10. But the first time I did 30, I'm gonna guess like 30. And my corals, let me show you. I mean, right now they look like this because I just turned the lights on. But my corals looked like this for a week. And I was nervous. I really had a feeling that they were gone. But they were not. In about five days, they opened up no problem. I did a few extra water changes and they were fine. So nothing got harmed. I'll, I'll, when, when the lights have been on for a few hours, you'll see how full they are. Everything's totally cool. The fish are cool. Everything's cool. Uh, no issues at all. So now like once a week, I actually just dose a cap because that's like, you know, less than what my, I think it's like five milliliters in there. So it's like not much at all. So I only do that. I'm only going to do that just to make sure the algae stays away. But so far so good. I mean, you guys saw the previous video. It looked like I had like a beard in my tank, the walls, the glass, the rock. It looked like a it looked like there was spinach all over my rock. It looks like flowing beards. In fact, I just dosed a cap now and my hands are kind of fingertips are kind of tingling a little bit cuz I know I got some on there. So just be careful with that stuff. Wear gloves. I I did not when I dosed it. I just dosed it right in the sump. But I just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm doing really well. Thanks for the good wishes. And uh, fish are doing great. Everyone's doing great. I still go back and forth on should I have a sand bed in here because I'd really like a deep sand bed, but I really like the no sand bed. There's just a little bit of sand on the bottom. So it's just that I have not siphoned out. And I kind of like that because it gives it a little bit of a look. I kind of thought about putting in like five pounds in here to just cover the top layer of glass. So it would just be like for aesthetic purposes. Oh look, here's the thin striped hermit crab. Moving along. I put a bigger shell in there and he took advantage of it. So that's it. Um, everyone's doing good. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks again. Hopefully you're having a great weekend. And this is just a little update. Not much else I wanted to tell you. Um, but I'll think of something and I'll post it on next week's video. All right? I'll let you know when we're going to do a live stream again. So until next time, happy reefing, enjoy your tanks, and this is Steve signing off. Take care.